Hey everyone, I'm back and we are working on page four. Page four, so we're gonna have two flaps. These flaps are four and a half by eight. Four and a half by eight, you're gonna score a half inch on the four and a half inch side. So you're gonna have a left and a right. And we are gonna cover them with this image from the eight by eight pack and it's just split in half. And then I think this is from the A4. Um, and I'm saying that because the scale is so large. But I'm not positive. Okay. It's really raining uh, quite a bit here, so I'm kind of concerned about our neighbors up north. They've been getting a ton of water and unfortunately landslides and all of that bad stuff that comes with it. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and add this. Well, actually we need to put some magnets in here, don't we? Yes, we do. There we go. Just want to double check and make sure I hit the record. I think this is going to be my last page for the day. I'm kind of getting a little burnt out. Uh. I can tell because it took me so long to come up with the design, not for this page, but for um, the second part of the layout, page five. I'm starting to feel some fatigue. I'm happy with what I decided, but it took way too long to get there. we can add this. Since I added my flaps, I'm just double checking to make sure it still fits and it does. So we can go ahead and remove the tape backing. Okay, now on the inside, I'm gonna use these two patterns. This is from the eight by eight, and this is from the A4. So I am going to, I can't remember if I want the plaid on the bottom or the top. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. I think I like it better on the bottom. All right, so I'm going, oh, that's a problem. I think, yep, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. All right, so these are gonna be, I was gonna do them equal parts, but then my magnet would be exposed. So I need to make sure my magnet is fully covered first. And, yep. Yeah. Yep. 
So that means I would trim it right about here, just under the tape. And that turns out to be four and one eighth, by the way, four and one eighth. Yep, that's right. Okay, just gonna narrow this down. Okay, so let's go ahead and add this. A little bit more. Let's ink it. And we're gonna repeat that process. So I just laid this in and put a reference mark right below the tape for the magnet. This will be the top, and then we'll trim this piece to fit. And there's an alternative, and I'll show you what it is in just a second, because I may wind up doing it anyway. Mm -hmm. Shoot. I like both, but I think I'm going to stick with my original. Sort of mon it's a very monochromatic collection, period. Okay, so I can trim this down to fit. The other thing I can do is go ahead and add it as is, and then just lay in a, a trim piece over it which I think is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lay this over and then we're gonna add that trim piece. Which means I won't cut the other one down, I'll just lay it down. I don't wind up with a big enough piece of paper to repurpose anyway. Oh, that needs, that's really tight. Okay, now we'll trim this down to fit. bump right there because that's where the magnet is. Okay, we'll just repeat that process. This probably needs to be trimmed. Yes, it does. So I want to trim it to the same width as my plaid.
Okay, and then do I have another strip? I think I have to come over here. Yeah. Here we go. really coming down. I haven't looked at the weather. I wonder if it's going to rain all day tomorrow. There's the inside, and then this is very straightforward. We're just going to add these to the two flaps, which are already inked, and there you go. So that's page four. I'll be back shortly with page five. Page five. Okay, back soon. Okay, everyone, we are on page five. Page five, and this is the layout for page five. So it's pretty, pretty straightforward. We're not going to do a lot of flaps. We do have um, a card fold flap here, and that's uh, pretty much going to be it. So we can go ahead and start by laying down our base. This comes from the 8x8. Eight eight. Did I say page 5? Let me double check. Uh, uh, two, three, four. Yep, page 5. Okay, this is a cut apart. I believe it's from the A4. This is a very small cut apart, and I think it is also from the A4 collection pack. Okay, this is just a piece of scrap that I had that I want to mount this on just because I think it looks super cute. This is the bifold that I have, and it's got a magnet holding it together. So I believe I want to mount it this way so it opens away from the spine is over on this side. So that is currently the plan. Let me see if I've got these. Nope, I think it was cut up and down. And that's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna do some planning here. I want that, I think, to go under, like so, like so. And I have this piece, which is just a three by three, same pattern that I want to use here somehow. I think something like that, just to make it a little bit more interesting. And then I've got this little bow. I was trying to find my other twine. I may abandon this idea of um, putting a little bow here just to give it some more texture, make it a more, little more interesting. Okay, so I'm just sort of loosely laying this out 
to make sure I'm happy with the overall dimensions, and I think I am. So I'm going to start by laying this down, and I'm eyeballing it, but I think it's a quarter inch, and it is. So you're going to come up a quarter inch from the top and bottom, and that way we don't have any interference with these top pieces. Of course, this is the other look, as we could go that way. I don't know. I like it better the other way. This just looks too planned. This looks a little more freeform, I think. I'll mess around with that a little bit more after I put this down so that it's not floating around. Oops, and I forgot to tell you what size it is. So I'll measure that out as soon as I get it down. Okay, and I think I wrote it down actually. So this is eight, eight and three eighths by five, by four and a quarter. So eight, that doesn't seem right, and three eighths by four and a quarter. So it's slightly off. I probably did it that way because that was the scraps that I had. Um, you, you'll have enough scraps that you don't have to do this wonky cut if you don't want to. You could do eight and eight and a half by four and a quarter. But um, like I said, I was trying to uh, utilize the scraps that I had. And looking at my paper planning right now, there's plenty of paper. So do with that what you will. What I actually did is what's going to go in the cut list and the banner. Little bunny, so cute. Okay, so that's down. That's so cute. I like it. I always like a fishtail um, banner. Okay, so we have that's an option, and this is an option. Which I like that too, but it looks like we need something here. So let me dig through my stash and see what I can do here. Oh, I have these um, trees that I cut apart. I like that. So let's see if there's something else. Here's a little birdhouse. That's too small. So that's a maybe. Some of these other cut aparts I think are too big. You know what would look good is something round. So let me see if I've got a round cut apart I can use. Or 
oval. I think this is the right size. I'm just rough cutting to see if it's about the right size. I think it is. Let's take a look at that. What do you guys think? Oh, I don't know if I like it. it. Looks a little too forced. It needs to be. Oh, maybe I just need to leave it blank. I don't like that these corners are lining up. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's bothering me. So I'm going to fool around with this for a second and see if I can't find something I like better. Of course, we don't have to use it at all. And maybe that's the problem. I'm trying to make that work and it doesn't. So let's see. I think... I've got some more cut apart, so I'm going to look at them real quick. These are too big. I think I have cut aparts. I have tons of cut aparts. <laughs> There's some circles, maybe. Maybe that's the answer. Let's try a circle. Or let's try something that has a circle in it. Maybe that's just all I need. Let me think about that for a little bit longer. This I think I'm happy with. So I'm going to go ahead and put the glue on the back of this. Good. Nope. Trying too hard. I didn't get that in quite straight. <clears throat> That's the answer. Let's try. Or did I like that? Probably no, because it blends in too much. I have all kinds of fancy dyes, but none of them are ever the right size. I like it. I'm 
I'm being lazy. I don't feel like matting it. I do think you should mat it. <laughs> It'll pop out better. But I'm just kind of over this page. Okay, that's it. Okay, it's pretty simple. That is page, I forget, <laughs> page five. These go together like so. Page five, I think it's lovely. Okay, we'll be back together soon. We'll work on page six.